Oh, thank you. Getting a driver's license is a major milestone for teenagers and young adults, and all drivers face hazards on the road. Our Michaela Castillo tells us about a Valley School that is making sure all new drivers, especially those with autism, are well prepared. So you learn more about this training today. Yeah, and a very cool training. So those with autism may be more likely to have difficulty with executive functions, become easily distracted, and have slower detection times. And that's why Driving MBA in Glendale is helping these students get the best practice they can before hitting the road through a visual stimulator. It's a life skill if it's not done correctly it can have devastating consequences. Learning to drive can be an exciting but scary time for young adults but for people with autism they can face additional challenges behind the wheel. They know the rules of the road probably better than most people do but what they're really literal oftentimes and so um, they need to understand the gray, and so helping them understand what that takes. It also just takes a lot more time. The Children's Hospital of Philadelphia reports drivers with autism are more likely to crash while making a left turn or U-turn and may become easily distracted or have difficulty with executive functions. Crystal Ramirez says her daughter with autism was approved for a driver's license when she probably shouldn't have. I would not even trust to drive around the block by herself. That's where driving MBA in Glendale comes in. They help people with autism make sense of the road and prepare them for what they might face behind the wheel with the simulated driving experience. This is our defensive driving lab. We have another lab, which is our driving fundamentals simulation lab, which is where we teach students how to drive. So they're learning how to drive there first before we then we take them on the road. The course starts them out with the basics, then starts to throw in more unique scenarios. Come to oh. Things like head-on collision avoidance, red light runners, all the things that happen on Arizona roadways we're able to simulate and help them. After Crystal's daughter went through the program, she feels more comfortable putting her daughter behind the wheel. We can't predict what's going to happen on the road, and so it could be perfect every single time she goes out on the road until it's not. And so she needed to see and feel and hear and be directed in all of the things that could go wrong as it's happening. Okay, so we saw you behind the wheel of the simulator yes. and there was a reaction uh -huh. from you. What, uh -huh. what, how'd you do? Um, so this was the first time I've ever tried a simulator, mm -hmm. and I didn't do too well. So now I'm thinking maybe I need to go back to driving school. <laughs> I, it's not a bad idea for all of us to kind of bone up and be extra aware on the road. There are so many distractions. So and, many things uh, going on. I hate when you, I'm listening to the radio and I'll hear like a siren sound on mm -hmm. the radio. It and then scares it. me. Yep, I know. Mm -hmm. And you know, during rush hour especially, People are going fast, they're merging, mm -hmm. so there's a lot going on. So that was great about the simulators. It really taught you defensive driving. As you saw, I didn't do very well. I ended up hitting someone with the simulator. <laughs> I'm glad it was a simulator. Yeah. Me too. I'm really happy it was a simulator. <laughs> and and uh, that victim lives to tell the story. Exactly. So good practice, yeah. something if you're interested in or getting your kids yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. you too. Uh,